uh, Chris Joe Bob, you know who I am. I'm Chris Joe Bob. You know what I used to be. You know what I used to be. I used to be a tobacco farmer. I'm no longer a tobacco farmer. Unfortunately, they took my tobacco farm away from me. I'm sure you've heard this rant and this rant before. But anyways, the point of this story is I want you to hear about the beaver story. That's right. You have to hear the beaver story. I love the beaver story. I always tell the beaver story. I love the beaver story. The beaver story is fucking hilarious. It's a great story. I love the beaver story. So, this story is for you. I hope you enjoy the beaver story. I also hope you enjoy DJ CJ's beaver story remix, which will be available only on Patreon. So, if you're one of our Patreon subscribers, you can get the, uh, the DJ CJ beaver story remix there. All right. Along with Tasty Beaver Beaters. If you haven't heard it yet, Tasty Beaters is there, too. Enjoy. Now, I'd like to talk to you about something very, very important. Beaver protection! Beaver protection! No one wants to save and protect the beaver! At least not the authorities. People don't care about the beaver. No, 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 no. Here I am. Going down the street on my back going Because the streets in the city of Windsor are just complete shit. So it's like So I'm going to actually it's more like Because Chris Joe Bob rides it fast and hard. Yeah. Anyways, so here I am going down and all of a sudden I just out of the corner of my eye I'm like What the hell is that? Is that a beaver? Oh my God, and I'm at the corner of Turner and Tecumseh Road, okay? You know, there's a Bank of Montreal right there, the Turner Road Chapels right there, you know. So, and here I am at the corner, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm by the med, I'm in the Medicine parking lot. And there's a beaver. <gasps> a fucking beaver. Now, okay, I realize Windsor is not Toronto. It's not like finding a beaver roaming Queen Street. Which I'm sure has probably happened, but still, it's not it's not that drastic or that like oh my god. But I, I've never seen a I've seen a beaver, you know, maybe this many times, maybe that many times in my entire life. Okay, that many times in my entire life, and one of those times is in the middle of the city of Windsor. Anybody else? Not mystified by this, but th this was a moment. It was a moment I sat there and went, wow, this is fucking amazing. And I see this, and Beaver, and I'm walking around the cars, and I'm looking, going, no. Because it disappeared as soon as I saw it. So I'm like, Crystal Bob, you fucking tripping out, man. You've been doing too much of the Canadian flake, and you're, like, tripping out and seeing beavers wherever. Because, you know, it, it's just sometimes, you know, it happens. But anyways, so I'm walking around, and then finally I see the beaver again. I'm like, oh! It really is real. There is a beaver walking around the streets. Oh my God. So anyways, okay. So I go and I'm looking around and a cop sees me, right? As I'm looking around. So, you know, cops are all like, I'm looking suspicious, right? But I see the cop. I'm like, come here, come here, come here. I wave him down, I wave him down. Cause it's a beaver walking around the middle of the street. Goddamn fucking planes flying around while I'm talking about the beaver, man. This is fucking annoying. I'm trying to talk about the beaver and I gotta listen to these fucking planes flying around. God damn it. Anyways. So, beaver, cop, okay, beaver and cop. So, I say, Mr. Officer, look, 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 dude, it's a beaver. And he's like, no, it's not a beaver. I said, hedgehog. I'm like, dude, that is a beaver, and we got to do something to save it. And he's like, well, you know, we don't deal with anything wildlife roaming within the city limits. What? It's a beaver, dude. It's a beaver. How much more do I got to explain this out? Okay, so anyways. And then I say, okay, fine, fuck it. And then the beaver, everybody on the road stops so the beaver can cross the street. I shit you not. Everybody stopped and watched mystified as the beaver crossed the street. It was fucking awesome. At least it showed that some people, some people out there still have some Canadian fucking pride. They will stop for the beaver. They will flatten a squirrel without a second of hesitation. They will ram into a bird without even trying. But they will stop for the beaver. That's right. They stop for the beaver. And they let the beaver cross the street. That's what it means to be Canadian. So anyways, and then I go, I get to a phone and I call the Humane Society, one of those people, you know, the, you dial 311 bullshit or something like that. I can't remember exactly what I did. It was a moment of rush. So anyways, I call them and they're like, no, we don't deal with animals within city limits. I'm all like, huh? 
This is the beaver, folks, in the city of Windsor. What are you talking about? You don't want to go save it. Anyways, okay, so then we move along. I call CBC. CBC. The Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. And you know what they tell me? Well, unless we get another substantiated claim, we can't do anything about it. Because we can't just send out a camera chasing after a beaver. I'm sorry, your reporters at your job chase the story. I gave you the lead. It's a beaver and you're the CBC. What type of assholes run you, you fuckers? Why didn't anybody want to save the beaver? Why? 